Hi there. On this one, we're looking at the Mayfair Cinema in Bungay, Suffolk, in the UK. So without more ado, let's get underway. The Mayfair, later to temporarily become the Broadway Cinema, was located at Broad Street in Bungay, Suffolk. The Mayfair Cinema opened in 1937 and seated 507 people on one floor. There was no balcony. The opening film was Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers in Shall We Dance? Now we don't know the exact opening date for the Mayfair, but the film was released in the UK on the 13th of September 1937, so shortly after that perhaps. The proprietor of the cinema was Vincent Waring, and it was equipped with Kaylee 12 projectors. Vincent Waring operated the cinema successfully for many years, and in the 1940s, the cinema manager was a Mr Phelps. It was a popular venue for a long time, but little money was spent on upgrading or improving the interior at all. Sadly, Vincent Waring passed away in March of 1983. Now, the Mayfair was subsequently bought for £40,000 by committed cinema enthusiast and local authority refuse collector Gordon Chapman. At this time, the seats numbered only 400, according to the 1980 Cinema Theatre Association's Directory of Cinemas. Now, he was anxious to get new films as soon as possible. He started a children's Saturday club, he did late-night shows, He even attempted to run professional wrestling. In August 1983, Gordon upgraded the projectors because he was finding it increasingly difficult to get spares for the Kaylee 12s, them being over 50 years old. He also at that time reduced the seating to 300. Now, Gordon was convinced that as long as the people of Bungay wanted the cinema, he would work hard to keep it open. But sadly, at this time, the popularity of the Mayfair had started to wane with the locals. The interior was by now looking old, tired and way past its best. As audiences dwindled, Gordon took on the role of manager. He also sold the tickets and the popcorn. He showed the films and swept up afterwards. His staff cost being zero, he said that he could turn a small profit on 25 people per night. Sometimes that happened and sometimes it didn't. Despite having some good audiences at times, Gordon Chapman was fighting a losing battle against TV, videos and, more importantly, the apparent indifference of the people of the Bungie area. Reading past Facebook posts, it appears that the cinema was very cold in the winter and the seats hellish uncomfortable. In reality, attendances were nowhere near sufficient to keep the cinema financially viable, but keep it going, he did. Other small cinemas in the country had either closed or were investing in refurbishments. The people now expected more from a night at the movies and Bungie folks went to Norwich or Lowestoft to watch the latest films with the latest technology and levels of comfort. In November of 1998, Gordon had a fall in the foyer and in February 1999 he passed away, leaving a wife, Mary, a son and a very improbable cinema. Gordon's son kept it going for a while, but very soon he admitted defeat. This led to the sale of the building and the subsequent closure of the Mayfair. Then in 2000, local councillors approved a redevelopment scheme and the building was duly demolished and replaced by, yep, you got it, flats. Now, staff names from Facebook posts. Mrs Micklebow, usherette and ice cream tray lady. Mr Snowden from Ditchingham was a projectionist and Mrs Snowden was an usherette. They met whilst working at the cinema. How many times have we heard that? Aubrey Barber was a projectionist too. Michelle Pierce was a bingo steward from 86 to 88. Dawn Yull worked there in 1962-63. And Wendy Richards was an usherette at some point. On the 13th of March 1999, the Guardian newspaper carried the following epitaph within an article written by Matthew Engel. The Broadway cinema in Bungie that featured in this newspaper just a few weeks ago has apparently flickered into darkness. Bungie, I am told, has greeted the news with indifference. But Jill Shinton from nearby and equally movieless Beckles shares my grief. She arrived at the Broadway with a companion 
to watch a Robin Williams film, to be greeted by the owner, Gordon Chapman, asking them if they minded coming back another night, as they were the only two customers and he wanted to go home and watch the football. In the midst of the discussion, four others turned up and the show had to go on. Well, that's it for this one. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. That helps me a lot. Next time, we're looking at the very popular Regal ABC in Great Yarmouth. And I hope you can join me for that one. In the meantime, be good to each other and I'll see you soon. Ta-da!